In this video, we're talking about three new metal albums that were just released. They're from the bands Undeath, Skullfist, and Miseration. So these three bands just released albums recently. I decided to combine all three into one video. This will really help me cover uh, more albums. So first band I'm going to talk about is called Undeath. They're from the United States, from the city of Rochester in New York. They're a fairly new band. They started in 2018. They're a death metal band, and um, the one band they reminded me most was like Cannibal Corpse. They have a lot of lyrical themes dealing with like gore and torture and murder. Very similar to Cannibal Corpse. It's their second full length album. It's called It's Time to Rise from the Grave. The song has lots of graphic song titles uh, such as Rise from the Grave, Enhancing the Dead, and Head Splattered in Seven Ways. So for example, the song uh, Rise from the Grave, we're talking about like zombies rising from the grave, of course and other themes of death. The song Head Splattered in Seven Ways, basically about somebody getting shot right in the head. So I'll talk a little bit more about a couple more songs. Um, Fiend for Corpses, uh, that one's pretty cool. as a heavy uh, death metal style with like a very like a fuzzy production value. You know, like classic death metal, there are tempo changes, there are blast beats, melodic solos. Another good song, Rise from the Grave. It has like an opening riff. Remind me of that like later period of death. The vocals kind of remind me again of Corpse Grinder and uh, the song is filled with like these like sick riffs and tempo changes. Enhancing the Dead kind of like slows down the pace a little, it has these like thick and heavy riffs. The song has some tempo changes and some fast technical riffing. Another song that reminded me of both like Death and Cannibal Corpse. This one does a good job of uh, balancing like the fast and the slow. I think it's a good album for those uh, looking for like old school death metal album, kind of like in the style of, you know, the bands I mentioned before, Death, Cannibal Corpse, maybe Obituary, those types of bands. I'll give this one an 8 out of 10 and let me know in the comments what you thought. Next band I want to talk about is called Skullfist. They're from Toronto, Canada, a fairly new band. They formed in 2006 and this band brings back classic heavy metal Kind of like similar to like the new wave of British heavy metal. I mean, they're not British, they're Canadian, of course, but they're a band that plays uh, classic metal. They write about heavy metal and they're, they write about being metal. It's their fourth album called Paid in Full. And like I said, song titles deal with being like metal. So for example, the song uh, Heavier Than Metal, uh, that's one song. Another one, uh, Crush, Kill, Destroy. That one, uh, actually the song title actually reminds me of like the band Man of War, but they don't really sound anything like Man of War. I'll get into the sound in a minute. But... And anyway, um, other um, things to talk about, Warriors on the Rise being heavier than metal, and uh, those are like the lyrical uh, contents. So I'll talk about a few songs. Um, the album opens with Paid in Full, a uh, fairly slow Black Sabbath style guitar riff uh, mixed with some classic heavy metal riffing. The vocals in the, like the higher range, maybe similar to those like hair bands or, you know, from the 80s. The song is filled with riffs, but they're also like melodic. The chorus is very memorable. And this is a band, you know, you look at those album cover, you might expect something like different or darker or heavier, but they are a very like a melodic band. Uh, another song, Crush, Kill, Destroy, has a cool uh, intro riff, really nice like gallop to it. And uh, the song has a cool like 80s metal feel and uh, I really love the chorus. They're like, crush, kill, destroy, something like that. And that's pretty cool. Um, Blackout, really cool song. Has, uh, it opens with like this acoustic like classical guitar. Then it follows by a riff, reminding me of like classic Iron Maiden. Um, it has a really great breakdown in the middle and uh, they do have some really heavy uh, Black Sabbath style riffs in their breakdown. The closing song, Warrior of the North, this one goes into more of like a speed metal territory. It's kind of faster, has these like layers of like vocals and backing vocals, lots of classic melodic heavy metal riffs and lots of like guitar acrobat acrobatics. Now, I was surprised by this album, really much better than I expected. This was the type of band uh, had a different sound than kind of like what I thought they were at first, but it's an 8.5 from me. So this one was very good. Let me know what you thought. The third band is called uh, Miseration. So they're a band from Sweden, and that's actually one of my favorite countries for heavy metal. They're a heavy band. They started playing like melodic death metal, then they later moved into straightforward death metal. Um, actually, that's kind of like what I got from their bio. I haven't really listened to their earlier stuff. But in my opinion, I feel they're more of like a black metal uh, band. Um, 
So they began in 2006, and it's their fourth album called uh, Black Miracles and Dark Wonders. Now, the band has members of uh, some uh, Christian metal bands. So they were in uh, Crimson Moonlight and Renascent. But, and those are two bands that I did know a little bit about, you know, because I have listened to uh, Christian metal before. But th they are, I guess, kind of a Christian metal band. They're not really, uh, you know, that in your face about it. But they do we'll talk about, like, religious themes and talking about, you know, struggles and things like that. They have been compared to other Swedish death metal bands, you know, like Scar Symmetry, that type of band. Um, but I did feel they were, like, really heavy. So... The album opens with uh, The Seal of the Pointed Star. It's a very heavy song, has like symphonic black metal style, harsh vocals, lots of layers of guitar and keyboard melodies. The overall tone is very like dark and ominous. Um, desecrate, dominate, eradicate, it's pretty cool. It has those like black metal like soundscapes and like textures. And as well as some pretty cool like, uh, you know, heavy like death metal riffing. Now, on this song and a few others, you do hear like both the clean and the harsh vocals because I think there are, are only like two members in this band and they kind of like both do vocals. The song has a slow uh, breakdown, gives kind of like the listener a break from like all the madness and has some pretty cool like lead guitar playing and, some, and then just follows up with more like mayhem and blast beats and, you know, the heaviness. The final song is called Connector of the Nine Worlds. This one has a slow intro, kind of has some chanting, seven minute song, lots of like heavy symphonic black metal riffing. It has both like the light and the heavy vocals. The song has like an interlude in the middle that's kind of quiet, but then just knocks you over with the heavy riffing. This one was okay for me. Now for me, I'm not really big into like black metal, but I thought it was decent. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. So check this out if you do like uh, black metal, but more like that, like melodic uh, type. And um, that's all uh, this week. I will be continuing my series of reviewing the Ramstein albums. Hopefully I can get all of them out uh, you know, prior to the release of the new album, which will be next Friday. So that is all. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you all in the next one.